Okay, question three is about the ionic product of water Kw. We get some information at the top, which is going to come in handy later on. However, the first question says, which is the correct expression for Kw? Um, and if you've done your revision, this is straightforward. This is this answer here. Um, the other ones are not correct. So Kw is equal to the hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by the hydroxide ion concentration. You might be tempted to think, well, D looks correct as well. Um, and strictly speaking, it is. However, in the expression for Kw, we don't need to include the concentration of water because it is so large that it's not included in the expression. Um, the next question says, calculate the pH of pure water at 10 degrees Celsius. Give your answer to two decimal places. So we get some information at the top that gives us the value for Kw at 10 degrees Celsius. And we need to use this to calculate the pH of pure water. Um, so... I am just going to write my expression for Kw as equal to hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by hydroxide ion concentration. Um, and because the water is pure, what I can do is I can rewrite this expression because um, if I've got pure water, then when it dissociates, I'm going to get equal amounts of hydroxide and hydrogen ions so that I can say that the hydroxide ions must equal concentration must equal the hydrogen ion concentration or I can rewrite this expression to say that Kw is equal to the square of the hydrogen ion concentration. I can rewrite this again to simplify so I can say the square root of Kw must equal the hydrogen ion concentration um, and then I can work out the hydrogen ion concentration. I do the square root of 2.93 times 10 to the minus 15, which is the number that was given us at the top. Um, that gets me the hydrogen ion concentration, which is 5.412947 times 10 to the negative 8. And then we can say that the pH is equal to the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration, or the negative log of this number up here, which gets me 7.2. 665 and then I need to write this to two decimal places as it says in the question so that then becomes um, 7.27 as my answer so that's going to get me um, a couple of marks for doing that you'll get one mark for um, doing this bit here and then you'll get one mark for the answer um, next question says suggest why this pure suggest why this pure water at 10 degrees C is not alkaline okay so that's referencing the fact that our um, pH is slightly above 7 um, and it's saying well why isn't it alkaline then so the answer to this is dead simple um, we said this a moment ago which is that the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration because it's pure water. So there's no net hydroxide ions or hydrogen ions in the solution. They equal each other, so it's um, a neutral solution. Okay, next question. Calculate the pH of a 0.0131 mole per cubic decimeter solution of calcium hydroxide at 10 degrees C. Give your answer to two decimal places. So this one is worth three marks. So first of all, we need to look at what calcium hydroxide is or look at the formula of calcium hydroxide and not to get caught out by this because calcium hydroxide is a diabasic base which means that when it dissociates it forms two hydroxide ions. So we, you should know this because calcium is in group two and a hydroxide ion is just negative one. So you should know that um, the calcium will have a um, plus two oxidation state and the hydroxide ion is, is just minus one, so we need two of them to make a calcium hydroxide molecule or calcium hydroxide compound. So we get told in the question that the pH of a 0. Point, calculate the pH, sorry, of a 0. 0.0131 mole per cubic decimeter solution of calcium hydroxide. So we know the concentration of calcium hydroxide. What we need to do first of all is times that number or the concentration by two because we're getting two hydroxides. So that then becomes a concentration of 0 0.0262 
multiple cubic decimeter of hydroxide ions. We can then use our KW expression, so KW is hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by hydroxide ion concentration. I'm going to rewrite this because we need to get the hydro hydrogen ion concentration. So we get KW divided by hydroxide ions and KW from before was 2.93 times 10 to the negative 15. Our hydroxide ion concentration, we've just worked out up there. So that's 0.0262. And that gets us a hydrogen ion concentration of 1.118 times 10 to the negative 13. I can then write my pH expression. pH is negative log hydrogen ion concentration, which is negative log of 1.118 times 10 to the negative 13. That gets me a pH of 12.9514. Got to give my answer to two decimal places, so that becomes 12.95. Okay. What I would also do with this question is check that the answer looks about right. So this is an alkali solution. Um, calcium hydroxide is a fairly strong base, so we should be getting quite a high pH, which we've got in our answer here. So in terms of the mark scheme for this, you get one mark for multiplying the um, concentration of calcium hydroxide by two. You would get one mark for working out the correct um, concentration of hydrogen ions, and then you get one mark for your answer, which brings us up to three. Okay, so 3.5. Um, it says that the calcium hydroxide solution was a saturated solution. That means no more um, calcium hydroxide will dissolve. The student added a 0.0131 moles of magnesium hydroxide to one cubic decimeter of water at 10 degrees C and stirred the mixture until no more solid dissolved. Okay. Predict whether the pH of the magnesium hydroxide solution is larger than, smaller than, or the same as the pH of the calcium hydroxide solution at 10 degrees C. Explain your answer. Okay, so the pH of the magnesium hydroxide compared to the calcium hydroxide. Okay, so this question is linked to the solubility of group 2 hydroxides, and you need to remember that the um, solubility of the hydroxides decreases as you go up the, up the group. So magnesium hydroxide is less soluble than um, calcium hydroxide. So we would expect less hydroxide ions in the magnesium hydroxide ion solution, which would mean that you would get a lower pH, a smaller number. Okay, and the next explanation is that magnesium hydroxide is less soluble than calcium hydroxide. You get one mark for each, however, you've got to have this first bit correct to get the second mark. 